Lesson 56 from A Course in Miracles. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. How can I know who I am when I see myself as under constant attack? Pain, illness, loss, age, and death seem to threaten me. All my hopes and wishes and plans appear to be at the mercy of a world I cannot control. Yet perfect security and complete fulfillment are my inheritance. I have tried to give my inheritance away in exchange for the world I see, but God has kept my inheritance safe for me. My own real thoughts will teach me what it is. My Above all else, I want to see. Recognizing that what I see reflects what I think I am, I realize that vision is my greatest need. The world I see attests to the fearful nature of the self-image I have made. If I would remember who I am, it is essential that I let this image of myself go. As it is replaced by truth, vision will surely be given me and with this vision, I will look upon the world and on myself with charity and love. My I see holds my fearful self-image in place and guarantees its continuance. While I see the world as I see it now, truth cannot enter my awareness. I would let the door behind this world be open for me, that I may look past it to the world that reflects the love of God. Behind every image I have made, the truth remains unchanged. Behind every veil I have drawn across the face of love, its light remains undimmed. Beyond all my insane wishes is my will, united with the will of my Father. God is still everywhere and in everything forever, and we who are part of Him will yet Look past all appearances and recognize the truth beyond them all. Everything I see because God is in my mind, in my own mind, behind all my insane thoughts of separation and attack, is the knowledge that all is one forever. I have not lost the knowledge of who I am because I have forgotten it. It has been kept for me in the mind of God who has not left his thoughts. And I, who am among them, am one with them and one with him. <laughs> 